Okay, so the Li Hong derivation is actually not that difficult to do, at least the first two levels. We have three target. One is needed to be knocked out and two is uh, to be killed with uh, some sort of elimination as your choice. We will choose to kill it with a sniper rifle because that's handy. So the first two level will be kind of the same. First, we just wait for this guy to guard to go for his smoke route. Then we subdue him and we even have time to hide the body. We can put it in the box at here behind. And while we do this, the timing is gonna be okay for the guard to move from one place to another where we go. So just past this bridge, there's a guard over there. Later on we need to kill it in the level two but right now we don't need to be careful just to not get seen. So that guard sits down, that's our sign. We can go for the target, knock him out. That's our first target done. Put it in the box, get away because the guard is coming back and leave his gun over there. So when this guard arrives, you can just knock him out. Put it in the box as well and get for ourselves the sniper rifle. Get back to the bridge area, but first we just shoot that moving camera ball because uh, we don't want to get caught by a mistake or something. So that guard over there is sometimes eating, sometimes watching over here, so be careful if he's watching. There is that moving uh, platform, elevator, bus, whatever it's called, I don't know. It's a sh shutter, I don't know what it is. Just aim for the edge of the beginning of the crate and uh, that will kill the target. The second target is downstairs at the car. When you shoot the end of the car, he will be moving towards it and then four or five shots and the car blows up. It's an accident kill. It's uh, great because the body is fun, but uh, since it's an accident, it doesn't care. We can shoot that camera over there as well, just so we don't get caught on the fire stairs. And we just go down the stairs. We can drop the sniper rifle because we won't need it anymore run for the stairs and at the end uh, we can be careful and wait at the guard at the right to turn away or we can even rush for the exit because that guard at the right won't uh, fill up the bar that fast that we leave the area faster so it's fine if you rush for it so we go for our little scooter and kind of that's it we finished the first level, we got our achievements and we get this nice silent assassin rating and the black dragon suit which we can use later on. So the second level is uh, not that much difficult, it changed a little bit. We have a new target as I mentioned, uh, the Chinese guy who is eating, we need to poison him, then shoot him with a pistol. So thus we need to get rid of some NPCs, not to hear the piston gunshot. The other target which they added is uh, in a kitchen area and we need to kill him with a sniper rifle called the Red Dragon, which uh, we used previously, so uh, kind of goes the same as level 2, just we need two more targets to kill which won't be that difficult at this stage, so don't worry. We just subdue this card again. We can hide the body because the timing will be good. Either way we need to wait for the guard upstairs to sit down and uh, get away from our target, get a crowbar, don't forget. 
and just rush for the end of the bridge. We can see that the guard just sit down, that's perfect. We go for the target, knock him out and hide it in the box. Leave everything as it is, just hide, wait for the guard. Go behind and knock him out as well. Now we get the sniper rifle and since we need to use our pistol sooner or later we just knock out this guard as well. You can use the soda can, the crowbar, or whatever you want. Shoot the camera, uh, not to spot anything suspicious, especially us. And at this moment we can kill our two target, like previously. One is coming with the moving elevator. Uh, small boss, whatever it is, just aim at the beginning and that's gonna be a kill. The second target, just aim at the end of the car, shoot it, he will come investigate. Don't forget to wait till he's at the end of the car and uh, stand still because uh, if he's not at the position, the explosion might not kill him and that's a pain because you can't make another explosion without being seen so we just shoot the camera over there break the first door and here at the left is our poison break open this door either use the crowbar or just uh, use the sniper rifle as well it works poison the food And we just go back and wait. They found the body, but that's the guy who died in the explosion, so it's an accident. It doesn't matter. Just go for it and wait. Be careful, don't be too close, because at the right there is two uh, scientists who might see you, so be careful. So after he's poisoned, you shoot him. Drop the gun and go for our last target. I leave this target to be the last because it's tricky. Sometimes there are NPCs nearby and might see him uh, get shot, but uh, after the explosion, most of the time NPCs are not uh, close to him, so you can just go for it like here, and as you can see, his head. Just zoom in, aim for the head, wait for the train to pass, so you won't screw up the shot and uh, get some bullet impact noticed. Shoot him, drop the gun because you don't need it anymore, and just go for the exit. It's nothing special, just like previously. Uh, the only tricky stuff is that uh, you need to kill the guard with the pistol and that sometimes is uh, not that easy. And as you can see, we are for the exit, we leave the area, we go for the scooter and that's it, the second level. Silent Assassin. Uh, I won't be able to show you because my PC crashed at this point, uh, so I couldn't save. That it was a silent assassin but it was trust me the third level is uh, quite difficult i would say i needed some practice because we have a timer a five minute timer so we have to change a little bit uh, to be faster we just leap through the here go up and to the pipe go up on the pipe and we don't care about the guard now at the left. We just rush for the crowbar, pick it up, go through the bridge, pull up, 
and go to the left now rush for the end get this brick leap over the fence leap over the fence and just toss the brick over there at the corner at this point the guy will be distracted we can get the poison from here and while he goes investigating the broken brick we just poison the food and then we go for the sniper rifle and the pistol so the timing is uh, quite important I would say you need some practice but uh, it's doable keep on the right and the camera won't notice you go at the end there is a lead pipe just get it use it to knock out that guard and use the soda can to toss it at the corner get our lead pipe back wait for the NPC to turn around our target and just toss in with the pipe get the crowbar and toss that one with the crowbar get the pistol get the lead pipe and get the sniper rifle okay the guy with the elevator is quite far away so we don't need to be uh, that stressed we just break open this door open that door he's vomiting over there so we just aim for the head shoot him drop a gun leap and try to shoot the guy there since I was quite uh, shall I say um, excited to finish greatly because uh, this was like uh, really much practice I missed the first shot but the second one uh, did kill the target so we just go through the bridge as well uh, where we came from and there is actually another building which has a closer ending uh, where we can end it faster and uh, thus it's better a little bit so we just go back where we came from jump through this fence our target is still smoking uh, beneath the building so we just go up this pipe go up here and at the second ventilation system there is a brick we knock this guy out shoot the car at the back we will trigger the target to go for it there is our last target as you can see no NPC is right now there but never know we still have a minute so if there is someone around just wait uh, I don't see anyone so I was like okay I can shoot him no one will see it and because of the explosion there is some panic just shoot him drop the gun and rush for the exit which is here the door and that's it that's how we do the third level of this challenge it's uh, not that fast as the leaderboards one but uh, it's quite fast it's inside five minutes so it's fine and it's silent assassin as you can see and have fun playing the game see you next time